Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about capacitors. So we remember the circuit we built where we had our resistor, our LED, and then our switch. Let's open our circuit. Good. So we are going to introduce another component into our circuit. For now, we're going to replace the resistor with it. Just so that it's not too complicated. So, this is how the capacitor looks like. And note, there's a plus sign written on it. In connection, make sure this side which has a plus sign is connected to the positive side of your battery. While the other side is connected to the negative side. This is very important because this electrolytic capacitor is... A polar component. Good. So let us go ahead and put our capacitor into the circuit. So make sure the positive side of the battery is connected to the positive of the capacitor. Let's complete our connection. Good. Now, we are about to close our circuit by closing our switch. And please keep your eye on the LED whilst we do this. Because what is going to happen will happen in a flash. Ah, did you see that? The LED came on and went off. Why? Because the capacitor was charging whilst the LED was on. And when it was done charging, it prevented current from flowing through further. This is a special property of capacitors. Let's go ahead and then discharge this capacitor. What does this mean? It means we are going to try and then take out the energy it has stored. And by this, we discharge it. This is how you discharge your capacitor. Just simply connect the same wire from one end to the other. Good. Our capacitor is now discharged. Let's build the circuit again. Maybe you didn't see it for the first time. So let's build a circuit again. Make sure that your switch is open before you do the activity. But this time, you remember this component? Yes, the mystery component, the resistor. Let's put it back into the circuit. Remember we said it resisted the flow of current. So what this means is that it is going to make the capacitor charge slowly because it will resist some of the current so that there will be a reduction in the amount of current that is going to the capacitor, meaning it will charge slower. So although our LED might be dimmer because of the presence of the resistor, it might stay on for longer because it will take a longer time for the capacitor to charge. So let's go ahead and close our circuits. Again, keep your eye on the LED and let's see what happens. Keep your eye on it. And here we go. Did you see that? There was another flash. Maybe because our resistor is not enough. Try and then change the resistor and put a bigger resistor in there and see what happens. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at more on capacitors.